What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren and for a while now on the channel we have been talking about Marvel Studios' new plan for the MCU. Disney CEO Bob Iger confirmed that they are switching things up over at Marvel Studios and then Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige confirmed this as well and both of them said that they are going to be cutting back on how many projects that they make. Well a new report tells us that this is indeed very true. In fact Marvel Studios has recently fired some employees and cut some projects and this is a part of their new plan for the MCU. Other parts of Marvel as well but really they are making a pretty big big shift in how they approach the MCU, specifically when it comes to making new projects. And like I said, it sounds like they recently cut some more projects. We heard Bob Iger say that sometimes they have to make the hard decision of cutting projects because it doesn't seem like the potential for it is really there or the movie doesn't seem like it's going to be that good. And as it turns out, he really wasn't playing. So we have a new report about these cuts and these firings from Marvel Studios that will break down today and talk about the future of the MCU. And if you're new and you love Marvel, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. We're also giving away a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. More on that at the end. So this happened yesterday. It came from Deadline.com, a big credible outlet, and a lot of other outlets reported on this as well. But the original report came from Deadline, so let's go ahead and read their exclusive. The title of their article is Marvel Makes Small Round of Layoffs, and in the article they state, we understand that Marvel underwent a handful of layoffs Monday, with 15 employees impacted across Marvel Entertainment in New York and Marvel Studios in Burbank. Those let go include junior employees in production and development at Marvel Studios. These cuts are due to Marvel reassessing and reducing their slate. Duly note, Marvel Studios only has one feature release this year, Deadpool and Wolverine, which is coming out July 26th. I hear there aren't additional cuts expected. Now that is the really important part. They say the cuts are due to Marvel reassessing and reducing their slate. And we'll get to this in just a bit, but the article continues to state that one, some of the cutoffs are coming from New York and that is simply Marvel Entertainment, basically stating that it doesn't really have to do with the people over at Marvel Studios and the MCU. But the other part, of course, does. Then they end with this. They state, during the quarter one 2024 earnings call, Disney CEO Bob Iger said, the first step that we've taken is that we've reduced volume. We've reduced output, particularly at Marvel. When you fix or when you address these issues with in movies, you do three things. You get aggressive at making sure the films you're making can be even better. Sometimes you kill projects you don't believe in. And of course, you put new things in the pipeline that you do believe in, that you have much more confidence in and we're doing all of that. So back in that quarter four earnings call that happened, which wasn't too long ago, Bob Iger said that we're doing all of that, meaning we're cutting projects and are focusing on being better. And now, yesterday, we hear that Marvel Studios fired people from the production and the development team. Now, of course, the production and development team, they are responsible for essentially making projects, getting projects made, whether that be movies or TV shows. But since it's so very clear now that Marvel Studios has cut some projects and has have heavily cut back on the amount of projects that they're actually making, it does make sense for them to let some people go in this department since they don't need so many people anymore. Put it this way, Marvel Studios at one point in time was making like six Disney Plus shows a year. Marvel Studios went from making two to three movies a year to making two to three to four movies a year with like six different Disney Plus projects going on at the same time. At least that was their plan, that is what they announced that they were doing, but of course due to COVID and the strikes and everything that has happened recently, their plans got a little off. However, Marvel Studios was making more projects than they have ever made before in the past, thanks to Disney+. Plus. So now they've really cut back. They're not going to make six Disney Plus shows a year. They might make two, maybe three. And we probably won't get four Marvel movies a year. However, we will probably get three, hopefully. And this is still way more than we got before with phase one through three, but this way Marvel Studios has a little bit of time to breathe and actually focus on one project at a time instead of multiple at a time, which basically what Disney and Marvel have said themselves, reduce the quality of the projects that they have released. And now it's gotten to the point that Deadline is reporting that they have reduced their slate. And here's what that means. Some of the projects that we have heard are in development at Marvel Studios, whether recently or in the past, 
might not be in development anymore. What we thought phase five and phase six were going to be might not be the same anymore. Now, don't worry because I believe Marvel Studios has a plan for characters who were supposed to get their own projects, whether that be a movie or a TV show that aren't anymore. I still believe they have a plan to include them in the MCU. And here's what we know. Marvel Studios executive producer Brad Winderbaum in an interview with Brandon Davis from comicbook.com stated that a Nova project was in development at Marvel Studios. However, he said he is not sure that it would actually get made because they are more like a traditional studio now, meaning they are actually developing a lot of different movies all at one time. However, at the end of the day, when it comes down to actually making them, some of these movies aren't going to get made. So basically, if they have a slot for, let's say, one movie, they're going to make three, four, maybe five different ideas for projects, start developing those projects, and the best one essentially will win. That's why Brad Winderbaum went on to say that he hopes Nova reaches the screen because they are developing it, but they might not end up producing it. They might not end up actually making it. Essentially, it depends on how good it is is going to be. And that's really the shift that Marvel has made. If it's good, they'll put it out. If it's not, they won't. But we have heard from some insiders that Marvel Studios does plan on putting these characters who are going to have their own movies in other movies. You might have heard the news about the Eternal sequel, Eternals 2. Obviously, Marvel Studios planned on doing another solo Eternals film. However, we've heard recently from some insiders that they're no longer going to do that. However, they're not just going to scrap the Eternals team and the Eternal story that has taken place in the MCU, especially with the Harry Styles as Star Fox setup with Pip the Troll. That's going to come to fruition. That story is still going to happen. However, it's just not going to have its own film. So that story and those characters will be put into another film. And what's really interesting is it's not necessarily going to be an Avengers film. As far as we're concerned, as far as we know, there are only two Avengers films coming before the end of the multiverse saga. We have Avengers 5, which we really don't know the title right now, and then of course Avengers Secret Wars. However, there are going to be some pretty big team-up movies before then. Right now, and this is not confirmed so take it with a grain of salt, but it's expected that the Eternals are actually going to appear in the next Thor movie. And you can see why Marvel Studios would do this. There were Celestials in Thor Love and Thunder. Celestials are gods, Thor is a god, and the remaining story for the Eternals was supposed to be about the Celestials. So it's easy to see how Marvel Studios could take a look at that and go, okay, let's just kind of finish their story in Thor 5. That way they can also be involved in Avengers Secret Wars. And from there, it sounds like Marvel Studios is going to do the soft reboot and kind of keep what they want and get rid of what they want. So we really don't know what's going to survive the reboot. But at least we know that Marvel Studios does have plans for those characters who may not get their own Disney Plus show or movie. Those characters aren't just going to be swept under the rug and never appear in the MCU, they'll be thrown into other movies, and that could actually make the quality of these other movies a lot better. For example, Nova, if he doesn't get his own show or movie, he could easily be thrown into a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And as long as they get a good actor to play the role, that could definitely really enhance the quality of that movie. A lot of people would really love to see that. So this is all really good news. Marvel is really dedicated right now to producing better quality content. Whether you think that they were fine before or not, it should be good news either way. If you haven't really liked Marvel movies or shows recently, then them getting better should be good. And if you have, then again, it's only going to get better and you're going to think even more highly of these films and shows. Plus, not to mention, it does seem like they really nailed it with X-Men 97. It's been epic so far. Let's hope it ends well. But it seems like they're getting some pretty decent teams to work on these projects and giving them enough time. Time and attention is what these projects need and it looks like that is Marvel Studios' plan going forward. Cut back on how many projects you produce a year so you can give those projects that you do produce the time and attention that they deserve. So if this is the MC you moving forward, I think we're in really good hands right now. Kevin Feige seems to have a pretty good grasp on the situation and Bob Iger is there to support as well. So it is unfortunate that some people got fired from Marvel Studios and Marvel Entertainment, but sometimes that is just the name of the game. It's unfortunate, but hopefully some great things come out of this, like Marvel Studios producing really epic movies. So let me know what you think about this news in the comments down below. Does this excite you or are you the type of let's wait and see person? Let me know how you feel in the comments down below and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe subscribe to the channel if you love Marvel and want to stay up to date on the MCU. Also, if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5 or Xbox Series X. We pick a random comment from a random video at the end of each month and the winner picks one item. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.